Hello everyone. I meet the most interesting people right here on Duval Street in the heart of Old Town Key West. I'm Kit Carson. I sit here in front of Angelina's Pizza all the time and I talk to the rock stars, the heroes, and the gods. It's what I do. And tonight I've got this fine young cannibal with me. I'd like for you to look at the camera, tell everybody your name and where you're from. Everybody wants to sit with Kit. My name is Joe Weed. Joe Weed. I'm from Ooh. Key West, Florida. <laughs> you sure a lot better looking than what I remember. I thought Joe Weed was a uh, <laughs> And I'm the mayor. <laughs> and you're the mayor. Well, there we have it. We've it's got the mayor. mayor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bobby Caps. I'm with the Rock and Roll Band 38 Special. We've, we've just got all kinds of clowns here. So I, I'm actually I was with the band downtime when we met. So yeah, let's talk about that. Sure. So your name's Bobby. Yes, sir. And you were with a band called Downtime I back was. in the eighties. Early nineties. That long? Ago? Maybe maybe early nineties. It's a little foggy. It but... is foggy. It's real foggy. Kind of yeah. like the fog machine kept blowing out <laughs> smoke forever. Yeah. So you were with a band called Downtime. Who all was in that band? Uh, Rob Wilson played guitar. Uh, Mojo Gary Hensley Mojo played bass. Gary Remember Hensley. Mojo? Mojo, wow. And Noah Hungerford played drums. And me. And, and uh, we had a, I mean, we were the house band here. There's some so many stories. God damn, you man. were here. You were here. I was here. That's I was almost working. 30 years ago, man. Huh? It's almost 30 years ago. Well, so, I mean, yeah. Well, yeah. I was. I started here in 85, started the pizza shop in 88. You were here somewhere in that time frame between 88 and the mid 90s. If that cooler could talk. We're glad that cooler can't talk and there's statutes of limitations that may have run out or may not have run out. I mean, good lord, the shenanigans and the things we did. Oh my god. You know, we're was, lucky to be alive. We are lucky to be alive. And, and we can still laugh about it and talk about it. Jesus. You know, I mean, I'm happy every day. Un unbelievable at the things we used to do back in those times. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, yeah. And so downtime was a product of the bands you were playing with. I was with them. I'm still with the band 38 Special. Yep. And Rob Wilson, the guitar player for this thing, we, we, we were all worked for 38 Special. We all worked yeah, for that band. Right. And so we got the bright idea to do a side project. Yeah, let's do a little when we side project. Time off. Yeah. When we had our time off, and we called it downtime. Yeah. And that's why we called it downtime. But we yep. came down here and we became the house band. Yeah, you were the house band here for literally. Yeah. Ten like years. Yeah. Ten years or so. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was a. It was a while. Oh yeah. And, and it, was, it was a good time. Oh, we had good time. Oh, my God. But man. Back in those days, it was just like, you know Mark Rossi. Yes. We decided one time to bring a flying rig in here. Yeah. <laughs> we showed up on a Prevost bus and we brought this flying rig out of the bays. And we had Andy, you remember Andy? Uh-huh. We had him put this rig up in there. Yep. And Mark Rossi came to me and he goes, Bobby, <laughs> how high were you? when you came up with this idea <laughs> and it didn't work it was like a garage door opener yeah on, uh, on these things that hooked to the side of us and i tried it one time and it was like <laughs> yeah about like the garage door opener <laughs> yeah what yeah. it does that, i bet you do the clown crew over here talking yeah. <laughs> we had we had such a good time oh though. my god we did i miss it man yeah. i miss it it's it's funny because I know putting you on the spot, it's hard to even recall, but just tell us one more story of a night you'll never remember. I'll tell you, uh, obviously you're <laughs> aware of the whistle. The whistle? Andy. Yeah. The hairiest guy I ever met. Yeah, Harry Rest Andy. Peace. Yep. Um, yep. We would get off stage at four o'clock in the morning. Yep. We'd go over to the home, uh, the, was it the iguana? The iguana. The iguana, have yep. breakfast. And then we would go down to the whistle or wherever. And, you know, we, we didn't start playing until 11 o'clock at night. So right. we needed to be in bed by noon. There you go. <laughs> the crack of noon. There you go. And 
So we would go <laughs> down to wherever. So one morning, somebody convinced me to go to the whistle. The whistle, uh, the whistle. What's what's the bottom part of it? The, the bull. bull. Yeah. So we decided to go upstairs, and all of a sudden, I feel this tap. I didn't know it was clothing optional. I yeah. swear to God, I didn't right. know. As far as you know. Yeah, it's now um, the Garden of Eden, <laughs> on top of the whistle. Yeah. Yep. So we go up there, and I feel this tap on my shoulder. <laughs> and I turn around, and there's a naked man. And he's hairy, most hairy, hairiest man I have ever met. Yeah. And I said, Andy, what are you doing? He goes, it's clothing optional here. And I'm like, oh, man, I'm in the wrong damn place. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, this doesn't suit you. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, well, you know, at least he could cover it up. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, so, he did. He was you so, know him. You know him. He was so fucking, he had a coat on year-round. Yeah. I love that, man. Oh, my God. Him. But he was, he didn't care. He didn't, I don't know, I mean, I was like. No, he did not. Not at all. Now, this, granted, this is 6 o'clock in the morning. This oh. is when the bars opened again. Yeah, right. So. That sounds about right. Yeah, well, you know, back in those days, we had, it was a later night town. <clears throat> it was. We, we used to be real late night. Oh, it was four o'clock in the morning when the when the uh, oh yeah when the when we got off work it yeah there'd be fifty a hundred people out here trying to decide where are you going you going to Boca Chica you going to where are you going everybody wanted to know where's where's the party at where you know and there was some place everybody was going somewhere you well know? speaking of that when we first came down as downtown we would play in this we had we had to play four forty five minutes sets right and we would play forty five minutes. And by the end of the 45 minutes, the crowd would be fantastic. Yep. It would be so packed in the place you couldn't move. Right. And then we'd say, hey, we're taking a break. We'll be back in 20 minutes. Yep. If you look around here, you see that there's a hundred other places that have action that you could that you can go to right now. Oh yeah. You know? So these people would leave within, within a hundred yards. Oh yeah. And then so we'd, yeah. we'd start the next set to nobody. <laughs> I mean yep. it's like we're starting all over. Yep. And by the end of the set, it's all over with. And you know, they're 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 like, well, you know, they're back. And then we have to do it again. Four times a night we did that. Yep. So one night I got the bright idea. And there might have been a little bit of yeah. other influences involved. But we I got the bright idea, hey, I'm not stopping. I said, hey, we're supposed to be taking a break right now, but I don't want to take a break. What do you guys think? And they went crazy. We played for three hours straight. The manager at the time didn't dig it. He was at, he was mad at me. He's like, well, you know, you were supposed to take a break. I'm like, well, we played our three hours. That's, you know, 45, 45, 45, 45, and we're three hours. So we changed it. And yep. I got a, I got a note. I got a, I got called to the office. Oh boy. Yep. Yeah. And they were like, hey, you know, you've got to follow these rules. And I was like, I tell you what, let's let's do it this way, do it this yep. way, and see see what makes yep. more sense. Now I noticed that the bands that all play down there, everywhere, they're probably mad at me. Yep. Because we start we started yep. that. And that's but, the everybody will say this about the dirt bags. They're Man, great. They the play way. for eight hours straight, and they they come on at eight thirty, and they play till they quit. Yeah, which is depending on the night, but it's three thirty on Friday and Saturday night. Yeah, you know, on Sunday, Thursday and Sunday night it might be two, but that's a long set. You know, I, I was I was down here. Well, thank you, Godfather, years. for bringing that in. Yeah. How is it? Rossi I, loves you me. for that. They hate me, <laughs> <laughs> but. There was there was ten years ten great years I had down here. Yeah. Up here and all the scooters during spring break honked the horn when oh, I was yeah. sleeping. And uh, yep. you know it was it was it was an awesome time. But the dirt bags, the, I love that band, man. Yeah. Sometimes when I get like I get my like Key West craving and I'm like thinking, man, I wish I was there. Yeah. I'll pull up. They they have a live. They have a feed. live feed. Yep. Yeah. And so I'll pull that up. Yeah, and I get to see the stage. The old stage, oh, the old Dirty it, Harry you know? stage. Yeah, and they and they do a great job. That's a great wow. stage, though. Man, I love you. One of my fantastic favorites, man. 
you guys don't even quite understand how much this means to me to have Bobby sitting here talking to me on Sit With And Kit. I watch your show all the time. I, I am so glad. I mean, even the clowns that are hanging around bugging us. This one? Well, this one. I don't even know if the clowns would have him, will they? <laughs> you know, I can't believe who, he's still who, alive. You know, that's, <laughs> you mean somebody hadn't offed him already? I, I don't know if he is. Kind of surprised. <laughs> yeah. Kind of surprised. I'm with you on that. But <laughs> this guy, I mean, he, he and I, and you do. We've all been, we've been around the world. We've been more than Key West. Yeah. Yeah. Cruises yeah. And, and by the way, we're doing a, a cruise in March, the 80s cruise. And we haven't oh, done one in a long time. And I'm, I'm so happy that we get to go. So how many bands are going to be on there? Man, uh, don't even ask me. You'd have to look it up, but, but there's... You know, I'd, I'd love to 10. do it. I'd say 10. Yeah, at least. Yeah. I'd love to do it, but it's always in spring Lane break. Chung, I think, is one. Uh, I believe Sebastian Bach. Uh, well, you guys, last time y'all were here was for um, Rock Island, weren't you? Yeah. Two years yeah, ago yeah, for yeah, Rock yeah, Island. Yeah. You were there. Yeah, I was there. Yeah. I, I mean, that's the best thing we can get. I mean, and I love that. I'm so glad they brought that in here. Yeah. I mean, it, it gets my my feel of 80s rock in, in a week. Know. You know, I, know. I can go watch seven or eight bands, and it's great. It's yeah. awesome. I know. You, yeah, you guys run it the first year. I can't remember. Uh, here? Yeah. I'm not I don't sure. remember. I'm not sure. I think we've done it twice. Done it twice. If my memory serves me. This is year three. Y'all aren't here this year. I don't think so. No. Yeah, I don't. So, what is your schedule like this year? We we uh, we. I think we ended up this year at 87 shows. 87 shows. Yeah. So that puts us on the road maybe 150 days. You still driving the bus half the time? I do. I do. You love that, do. don't you? I do. You love riding that bus. Oh That's yeah. That's awesome, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, I have. I actually have a good time doing that. I know you do. Especially when the drummer goes to the bathroom, Gary. Yeah. If you're out there, Gary, I'm sorry. But uh, if I know he's in the bathroom, I might just weave a little bit. <laughs> just a little. And maybe hit a break. Yeah. Oh, there was an imaginary dog. Yeah, that's pretty funny. You know, it's it's uh, it's what is, what's the greatest thing is all these years of doing this, we have the best the best team out there that yep. we've ever had, I, I think. Isn't that know? amazing? Yeah, and we're all just like we're all grown up and we're all having a good time just you know, and, and we enjoy it so much. Well, I I like it when you post up. I follow you on Facebook, really. I don't post a whole lot. And you you'll post up four or five shows when you're out yeah. on the road, yeah. and it's always I always appreciate it. Yeah. And that and I'll scroll through and read some of the comments, some of the people, you know, saying shit to you. And that, I I live vicariously through you on that oh, come one. Come on now. It's it's come it's on now. it's a rock star moment. But and I do. Awesome. I, I mean, I love your show too. I, I, you know, I, it's, you know, it's great. I'm so proud of you because hey, this thing turned out. I had look your, us, we're I had your pizza up. today. Hey. <laughs> I can't. Every time I can't come to Key West without having the Angelis pizza. That's awesome. You know, I I'm good for a slice a day. Yeah. You know, still after 30 years. As your wife. Doing good. You know, uh, had a little bit of the Key West crud the last week. You know, I think right. it was going around. You know, it was unfortunate it was during the holidays. You know, she missed the Angelina's Christmas party, but she rallied for Christmas with the grandkids. Right. You know, she's doing good. I mean, she's doing great. Well, man, I'm in town for a couple of days. Nice. Let's hang. Are you here for New Year's Eve? No, sir. You're leaving? I'm going to head back. I've got, I've got a, uh, we, we fly to Nashville to rehearse on the 3rd. And then we go back down to Fort Myers on the fourth and that show, and then we're playing uh, Clearwater with Sticks on the fifth, and then of January. Yes, and then Jacksonville, Florida on the sixth. Really? Yeah. You know, I don't think I've ever told you, but that was one of the first shows I saw. I think was uh, 38 Special in Jacksonville, Florida. Like probably about. I don't want to say. Probably before my time. Yeah, it was. It was probably like '79. Yeah. I mean, I'm still like a, a new guy. No matter. Yeah, I know how long, been there 25 no years. How long I'm in the band, I'm still yeah. the new guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Kind of like a. <laughs> yeah. You know, 37 years. <laughs> and I tell me that people ask me, "How long have you been in the band?" I'm like, "Well, I'm new." Yeah, you're the new <laughs> guy. 
Yep. Yeah, it was before you. And they go, well, how many years? And I'm like, 37. Yeah, <laughs> that's all. Well, that's I'll, I'll be honest with you, too, and the rest of the guys, in the, or the guys that, that I worked with for a long time know that my first concert was 38 Special. Was it? Yeah, I think it was 38 Special, Point Blank. Oh, gosh, I can't remember yeah, I can't the other remember one. who all, because I saw three concerts that year. It was like my senior year in high school. Me and a buddy would drive down there and stay with his sister, because mm -hmm. we lived up in Georgia. We drive down. That was a big thing, man. Yeah. You know, saw man. 30, I, I saw the Outlaws, 38 Special. I don't know if they were together. 38 Special and the Outlaws. Pat Travers. Really? Boom, boom. Out, out go, go the lights. lights. <laughs> hey, there's two guys in the band now, Barry Dunaway and, yeah. and Jerry Riggs, that were in Pat Travers' yeah. band. And I think they might have been in the band when I saw them. Who knows? They, pro <laughs> they may have been. Yeah. Man, they, they are just like the coolest guys. And, yeah. and Barry played with Ingve Malmsteen too. Right. That's, how, that's how badass he is. Yep. Yeah. Um, you're, you're 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 in a badass band. Oh, I've got I'm these guys. I'm I'm like the weakest link, and I like that. Isn't that amazing? And no, because it challenges me every day. Right. You know. I mean, that's just crazy. Yeah. It's just crazy how good they are. Yeah. But you're, you're you've had a charm, wonderful life, man. Hey man, we finally I, I'm so sat down glad together. You, you stopped and sat down with me. So I, I know you need to run away with the girlfriend and the posse, but before you do, I gotta ask you one final question. Yes, sir. If you were a pizza, what kind of pizza would you be? Uh, mm. Beef and jalapeno. Oh, that's what I had today. <laughs> actually, boy. actually, wait a minute. Beef, bacon, yeah. mushrooms, onions, jalapenos, oh, and yeah. green peppers. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> now we're getting some saucy. All right. Well, Tim, on behalf of the crew and, and, and Bobby, myself, we thank everybody for watching. Watching, And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Share and like the show. That's all we got for this evening. Good night. And Joe Cotta. <laughs>